Hi guys, welcome back to Sip Your Tea with Missy B. I'm Missy B, and today I wanted to talk about Los Angeles. As you all know, I moved to Los Angeles a month ago, so it's my one month anniversary, yay. And I actually just wanted to talk about why I moved to Los Angeles and why I uprooted myself from Detroit, Michigan to such the second largest city in the United States. So if anyone is out there that's wanting to move to their dream location or to New York or Los Angeles or anything like that, this video is for you. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. Stay tuned, everyone. When I moved to Los Angeles, it was one of those things where I just really needed to move. It was better opportunities and it was my dream to always live here. But there was one thing that I needed to do to let myself know why I moved here. So I wrote a list down when I first moved in and I wrote down things that why I moved to Los Angeles. I think it's one of those things that helps you reflect and it helps you direct to your path, your passion, your dreams. and. Why did you move? Some people simply move because they want to be in a new environment, make new friends, have build a new life. But other people move either for a job and like it wasn't their choice. You know, it's based off someone else's decision. But this was my decision to move, and I wanted to move because for a number of reasons. One, I love Detroit, Michigan. It was beautiful. It had all four seasons, but. Um, there was not a lot of jobs available for me. I went to school and my degree was um, broadcast and mag arts. And as you know, just being on TV, it's so hard to find jobs. It's very competitive. And I feel like in college, they really don't teach you like what you need to do to get where you need to be. So I felt like the reason I should move is for opportunities. That was definitely number one. In Los Angeles or even New York, you get endless opportunities to do what you really want to do. There's so many ways to get there, but I feel like when you're in small markets and small cities, it's hard to like get your dreams started. So like I mean, yeah, there is opportunities like in your cities and stuff, but just in being a bigger metro area, there's endless possibilities. So that was definitely number one for me. Number two, I love the weather here. The weather is amazing. It's sunny year round. There's really not a lot of elements like rain or snow or any like hail or anything like that, like how it is in Michigan. Michigan definitely taught me how to drive in the snow, so I'm actually happy I don't have to drive like in the snow or anything crazy. The only downside about Los Angeles is the traffic. Um, it definitely helped me with my patience because I would even have like slightly road rage in Michigan and Detroit and like it doesn't even compare to the traffic here. So definitely you learn to be patient. But this also goes with opportunities. My dream is to be on TV, to have my own TV show, to win an Emmy. Like those are my dreams I have. And yes, I could, you know, be a reporter at a TV station, but even those jobs are hard to come by. Most of those jobs are through someone you know or a professor or something like that and when I was in college I was mostly focusing on obviously academics but mostly just like where is the next party or what are my friends doing like it wasn't really towards like co-curriculars I wish I took that a little bit more seriously but you live and you learn and so that's why I started my YouTube and my blog so anyway, so that's my dream job. Passion, I love pop culture news. That's why I did this whole YouTube channel based around pop culture. Um, that's great too. I just like every aspect of news and I just wanted to share that with you, give my take of a story that I saw on Instagram and talk about it because now I know like my blog was amazing. It was great and I still use my blog, but I started to realize I'm more so a visual learner. So if I'm going to post something, I'd rather do a video because then I can watch it, I can listen, I can see what's on the video. But reading, reading's cool, reading's nice. Writing is great, but I feel like video, you get more interaction. So I started, you know, posting more on YouTube. And lastly, I like, this is later down the road, so mom, if you're watching, don't freak out. Um, I want to raise, I want to have my family here. Like, I, I don't, like, I mean, I'm not putting any shame on Michigan. Like, I love Michigan. Um, I grew up, I was raised there. I grew up there. But just for me, like, I feel like it would be cool to, like, raise a family here, like, your kids here. Not in the city, but obviously, like, move to either, like, a suburb in the surrounding, like, areas or something. Like, I think that would be awesome. And I just feel like 
this is like the one thing I always tell myself is like growth and comfort don't mix. You gotta like uproot yourself and move to a new location to grow. And yes, like I still do feel uncomfortable, not uncomfortable, but just like I'm not like in a comfort, I don't have a comfort zone here. Like maybe my comfort zone is my apartment, but the reason why I say my apartment is because I'm trying to budget. But we'll get, that's another video. But yeah, so I, um, it's just one of those things I think everybody in their 20s should do. And I feel like it's literally, I have to tell myself, this is one of the best decisions I've ever made is by moving here because it just definitely, I feel like by December, I'm going to be like, I'll still be funny and like silly Missy, but I will have grown so much from since me moving here. So for anyone that's wanting to move to their dream location, either if this United States or out of the country, go for it, do it. I think it will be a, like a monumental experience for anyone. So I hope this video has helped anyone that's truly trying to find their passion or their dreams because I think life is short and you should do what you really love to do. So I hope this helps everyone. Um, I'll get back to more pop culture videos, but I just wanted to share this one. Thanks everyone, have a great day, bye.